champion of podcasting but are you prepared to be the champion of this bracket because i don't think you are when you were studying audio editing you should have been studying the blade when we meet face to face trainer trainer to trainer on friday at 11 p.m eastern standard time at twitch.tv slash moonshot network i'm going to be the one to come out victorious square up Look, if Mr. Mercer wants an appearance with me, he knows my rate. Excuse me, I do need to take this. Hello! Jeff Stormer here, award-winning podcaster, game designer, professional wrestling commentator, eggnog enthusiast, game show host. The list continues. Listen, I've been asked to give my feelings on this little tournament and answer if I'm worried about the tournament. And <laughs> my answer is, why would I be? Is there a murderer's row talent ahead of me? Of course there is. There's some of the greatest names in gaming today. But for you, I ask one question. What have I ever not excelled at? I am a winner, and I win things. It's what I do. <laughs> Worried. But if you think for one second I'm not taking this seriously, you don't know who you're fucking with. This game is my life. This game is my childhood. I have been playing Street Fighter for longer than I can walk, and if you think for one second that... Hold on, hold on. What the fuck is a Pokemon? Hey there, Twitch chat. It's Andrew, the guy that you just saw up in the booth. Now, I'm down here, because I'm here to do four things. Round one, I'm here to play my ass off. Round two, I'm here to play my ass off. Round three, I'm here to play my ass off. And in the finals, I am here to play my ass off. So I hope you all are here supporting me, both as I play my ass off in these games and after the stream, as I recover from my post-ass reconstruction surgery. I'm going to need all the help I can get for both counts. Hello, I'm Nessa. I am neither flirty, 30, nor fun, and I will be going up against our announcer, Andrew. I know, crazy. Andrew has almost 30 tweets talking about Pokemon, whereas I only have 10, and most of them are talking about Pokemon Go. Andrew is more experienced than me, but I love the sound of my own voice, and if I beat him, I get to keep talking. So, who will win? For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a co-founder of Moonshot, Chris Hutton. And when Chris Hutton talks, people listen. My opponent in the first round of the Pokemon Showdown is Ken, someone whose parents didn't love her enough to even give her a last name. But that was Ken's parents' mistake. Ken has made one of her own that I simply cannot abide. See, Ken likes to parade around on Twitter and make people think that being a clown is cool. I want to remind Ken and all her fans out there that being a clown is something to be embarrassed about. See, I'm no stranger to having an alter ego. And why be a clown when you could be a beast? I am the two-time tag team champion, Death Machine Rob Matter. So Ken, in the Pokemon showdown at the moon landing, Bring your big shoes and your red nose, bring your flowers with water in them, and bring your jingly hats. Because when it comes to whooping your ass in the Pokemon Showdown, I'll be there with bells on. Step up. Who the hell are you? Ken. Huh, okay, Ken. Relax, guys, it's just Ken. Hi everybody, it's me, Ken. You may know me from Twitter and literally nowhere else. 
Tonight is going to be so much fun and I'm so excited to battle it out with so many great people. However, to my first opponent, Chris Hutton, who is trying to act like he doesn't think clowns are cool, I think we both know you're not being entirely truthful. I challenge you, Chris. If I win tonight's match, I demand an apology on behalf of the entire clown community for your disregard for the truth and disparaging words. If you win, you get nothing. Sorry, this is an entirely one-sided bet. See you in the ring, Hutton. Hello, I'm Manic Volcanic. Actually, I'm not Manic. I'm just a voice speaking on his behalf. I've never met him, and I'm merely saying what he's feeding me. He was asked to cut his own promo for this strange Pokemon tournament, but because he can't help himself, he made this instead. Oh shit, I skipped. <laughs> I skipped Jay and Ruby, I'm sorry. I'm Wheels, and I'm too femme to understand what goes in wrestling promos. Here are my Pokemon plushies. This one's Minchino. This one's Chespin. should come up right my name's jay i'm 27 now and my first word was b drill so, just audio. so why do i want to win the pokemon showdown tournament well I, I i would argue it's a little bit less a matter of wanting and more a matter of you know answering a divine calling i mean you know i've thought about pokemon since the moment i was born bulbasaur ivysaur they're hearing it venusaur Those... nervous <laughs> why would i be nervous listen ruby my round one opponent didn't even realize that Slugma was a generation two Pokemon. That rube went through their whole childhood thinking Slugma was introduced in generation three. Are you kidding me? Plain badge, fog badge. Listen, I share my birthday with Junichi Masuda, director of the Pokemon video games, and I'm worried that if I lose, he is going to file the paperwork to legally change it. Do not let this dark future come to pass. My name's Jay, I'm 27, and my first word was B drill. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Argyle wants to know if he can come in and do a promo. Yeah, Argyle, hop onto the live stream real quick. And, and cut it. You have. I gave everyone a one-minute timer, so so feel free to feel free to pop on into here if you're if you're in the uh, if you're in the live stream really quickly. But I need you to be fast. Argyle, what do you have to say before this match? I just want to say to Ty, I may be from another network. I may be from out of town, but I've been to Kalos. I've been to Kanto. I've been to Unova. I've been to Alola, and everybody. <laughs> is wanting me to save this from this tournament. There, mm -hmm. Your name may, may be Ty, but there will be no ties tonight, my friend. <laughs> all Pokemon enter. No more than six will leave. <laughs> you have my respect, but only if you win this. Bye. Thank you. Damn. For those words. Get out there. Get out there. Yo, know, Argyle, great job. Ty, still fuck him up.
Thank you for meeting me, Michael Morbius. It's me, Jeff Stormer from Podcasts, and I need your help. I'm listening. I won my last round in the Pokemon tournament, and now I'm up against Fleur in the second round. The rules have changed, and I'm good, but this might be the most important match of my life, and now I need your help. Can you trade me to be better at Pokemon? Intriguing. And this is what Fleur has to say. Yes. Incredible. God damn it. Hey, chat. This one's in the bag. Deuces. <laughs> Good job, Andrew. And where is Ken? There he is. Hey, everybody. It's me, Ken again. I have already had so much fun absolutely destroying Christopher Hutton with my clownification beam that, at this point, I can die happy knowing that I have viciously humiliated him to a public audience. Andrew knows his Pokémon, and I'm gonna be honest here, I stand no fucking chance. A clown cannot fight against a wizard, especially one that knows his pocket monsters. I have no shit to talk here. I really don't. So, instead, here's Peter Griffin dancing to the song Big Shot from Deltarune Chapter 2 while I drink a Capri Sun. <laughs> now. I really didn't think I'd have to make another one of these, but it seems like I'm just too good at this completely skill-based Pokemon gameplay, and now you can't get rid of me. Oh well, without me you wouldn't have beats like this. I love that Manic simply just sends in sick beats and goes, these will speak for me. I believe they wrote J on the can. <laughs> this one says Argyle. Oh, this one says Argyle, hell yeah. All right, Argyle. Are you ready to party? Ruby, are you ready to party? In that case, I look at you both. I put my hands on this bell and I say, I've got ding, 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 ding. Hold on, ref. Wait, wait, no, oh, no, oh, ding, ding, ding. Uh, Argyle someone's said, burst into the control room. They're in the booth. <laughs> uh, I just want to say Ruby, lovely name, but in the context of Pokemon, the only thing I'm, I'm going to do another name riff again, sorry. Uh, in the context of Pokemon, all I can think of is the Gen 3 game Pokemon Ruby, but unfortunately, I have to say, Sapphire, better game. Kyogre, better Pokemon. I'm out here representing Sapphire tonight. I'm going to whip your ass. Damn. And it's, it's true. Oh. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Goodbye.